Atef Yassar, Anuki, Anuki Marsal, Huni Sinatum Rey. As the reformer in the center of all, and I teach you, I am you. I am the ancient of days, called by many attributes over these final days, called one half hour or thirty years, then after the end of the six thousand year rule of ignorance, you have another one half hour or thirty years. That is the opening of the seventh seal, the first resurrection of the mental dead, I raced in 1970 AD. Then I gave you from 1970 to 2000 AD the first half hour or 30 years of school as children. You needed to understand religion, which was fed to you for the last past 400 years in the 1600s of slave trading by Arabs. The Europeans and to spread you all over the Western world. 1600 plus 400 years equals the year 2000 AD, the end of the Canaanites, 6,000 years from 400 BC. Listen well, my beloved, for this is the supreme mathematics, supreme religious. So they were given 6,000 years from 4,000 BC, which ended in 2000 AD. Yet in the 1600s, they took many of you out of Africa to abuse, use, enslave, brainwash of self and kind. Yet being this time would end in the year 2000 AD. Then from 1600, excuse me, to 2000, it was only 400 years. Yet the wake up call of renewal or opening of the seventh seal came in 1970 AD. And it is exactly 30 years or a half hour or half of the final hour. So 1970 to 2000 equals 30 years, half of their final hour. We are waiting for this to come in the final hour. So 1970 plus 30 brings you to the end of their 6,000 years of religious opinion, belief, faith. And I took you by the hand and walked you through their religious opinions for 400 years. A kind of spell cast down on us 6,000 years ago when the cursed seed made a covenant with their own demon god or gods to offer animal and human flesh and blood for food of their gods. We will break and their offspring put their evil, corrupt seed in many of our own people. They mix with our own race to spoil our seed. They mix with our own kin to spoil our culture. They mix with our own tribe to call us their niggers, or American niggers, or European niggers, even Caribbean niggers. They mix in with our own race to destroy our divine health and mental, mental and physical. So we took on, we waited and prayed and cried, but no help came because the time was not yet. But in the year 2000 AD, there was the end of their rule with the laws of Lawi Tananu. Yet we still have the disease in their bodies after 400 years of blood mixing and mental indoctrination. Now we accept them, their image, their religion, opinions, their spirit gods, their culture, taking us from the true knowledge of our own race, our own kin, our own tribe, our own people, we was born among African. So 6,000 years from 4,000 BC bring you down to the year 2000 AD. Yet before 2000 AD, they took you from Africa in the 1600s for 400 years. So the 24 hour clock starts. The final hour is to come in two parts for us. 30 years, half hour from, seven, from 1970 to the year 2000. Then the second part of the final hour of 30 years half hour from 2000 to the year 2030 AD. The second half hour, the second resurrection for our people. And it has come to us. It has returned to us. Our own salvation, our own opinion, our own language, our own culture. And what is called Wunwa. And it has come to us. It has returned to us, our own salvation, our own opinion, our own language. And what is it called? Wunuwa. And what are we called? Wunuwa'u. And what is the language called? Wunuwa'i. 
and what is the place called Nuabia. It has been returned to us after 6,000 years. We were lost to self and kind. Who, were, who are we? What are we? Who decides us? When? Why? What did he want? Our bloodlines, our seed, our soul. They wanted you to worship their image, to trust them, so they can take your soul. They lost theirs, and they only live by spirit. But without soul, once they die, they are encaged in this physical realm as ghosts or specter, spirit beings. They cannot move on after death. While they try to live so long in the physical world, even their high preachers and teachers don't want to die. They do all they can to repair the sick, diseased bodies. If they truly believe they will be joined in heaven with their God and angels, why do they fear death and teach you to do the same? Why, my children, do you still have your souls? Do they seek to prove ghosts exist? Who wants to speak to them? Do you ask life exists at the physical death? How? When? Because when they die, not having a soul, they are trapped here as ghosts or cannot move on. Once they die, they become spirit devils who are habitats of this whole every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and demonic hater. So they need to come across the world to mix you and to get your DNA back in their genes and hope and hope to receive a new soul or to be born over in your soul. They will drain your body out of all that is you. They need you, Nagato, to accept, trust them Caucasoid, to get close enough to bite you, to drink their blood. So in many ways, religions, as you trust, you have faith, belief, and opinions. And these who are their offsprings and sub-races who worship their spirit ghosts as God, Lord, Allah, Rab, Il, Adonai. So it's the mind of Nawa, Kain, of a Shalal race, of a Kawam sibling, of a Kabel tribe, they seek of you. If these parts of you are free of them, their bite of spell, of hypnotic religion beliefs, blind faith, and their dead spirits, once bitten, they have lied and deception of religion from their God. Your world begins, is out of order, living by sex and lust, to make you wish to mix your seed and to put all over the media, porn in so many forms. All you think is sex and pleasures, lust and lusts, from which they so neglect men seek Caucasoid daughters, just as the Anunnaki seek African women to mix, to get in our blood. Abraham took a Negroid woman, Hagar. David and Solomon both took Egyptian wives to breed. Moses took one. Jesus took Mary of Magdalene, which is an Ethiopian. Even Muhammad, last wife, Mary, the coat, was Negroes of Egypt. Yet you see them while they're seeking you for your DNA to get your soul. Look at them trying to act like you as you are trying to act like them, both physically and spiritually. They want your mind, body, and soul. So they came to you, our land, and took us out of it to mix with our blood. As their final hour comes, they, they now have to live in fear for their very end. So all seek our mother goddess to mix with the woman, holds the mitochondria DNA, the bloodline called the seed of the woman. So they seek our holy seed and our woman, while they offer black men their woman in the media, cinema, films, TV, plays, sex magazines, books, porn. They implant lust and sick sex force in men to lust after the image of their woman. She is Alice in Wonderland. She is Snow White with her seven Celtic leprechauns. She is Cinderella who marries a prince. She is Mary who had a little lamb as white as snow to make black men lust after their diseased women to bring their disease back to our race. The mental disease of self-hate, the physical disease of high blood pressure, and so many other STDs. While they draw a black women by offering her more pay and better jobs than they offer black men to bring them closer to drink their body fluids as Dracula, the blood sucker of the poor, transform the black woman into a ghoul 
for him who will kill the black man by disrespecting and dishonoring him because of the state he is in caused by the cursed seeds of Canaanites. If the caucus will see a black man, African, doing something for suffering kind, which is out of their religion opinion, he is called a cult. He is teaching the truth, culture, or cultivating their divine mind. He must stop that man from thinking African, Egypt. You can think Israel. You can think Christianity. You can think Islamic. Those are all their opinions. But do not think African. Do not think Egypt. That is their fear because they teach us that black men to honor our woman, the mother goddess. That is found in Egypt teachings, and Africa teachings protect the woman. She is where all will come. Her womb is the sacred enclosed garden. That is their fear because they see out of a shed Isis womb was born an Egyptian deity called Hor, Horus. But out of Maya was born Pan, a Greek devil, fathered by Zeus. They breed devils. You breed gods. This they know. Black women birth gods. Why all of the leaders in the Bible and Quran took African Egyptian women to birth children? Why did Abraham go to Egypt? Moses born in Egypt. Jesus took him to Egypt. Muhammad's first family migrated to Ethiopia. And he took an Egyptian woman. Why? Why did their God tell Jacob, go to Egypt to survive a place of God? In their own Bible, Hosea 12, 19, Hosea 11, 1. They all know this. Yet you are under a spell. You cannot see their God, Lord, honor Egypt and people today. The people today don't respect Egypt. Why the world is at its end. Egypt was Israel, Hebrew, Christians, and Muslim salvation. We are always here and will always be. No beginning, no ending for us, having no birth date recorded. Now it is time for you to stand up with your way, Wunuwap, as Nuwapu, speaking Nuwapu. It is their fear of you as you. Most Negroids who convert to the Islamic faith do it to belong, to be accepted, something most slaves suffer from. They have a need to be other than self, an a inborn fear of abuse. They feel if they join the Arabs' religion, learn a few Arabic words, dress as they do, gather with them, say I'm a Muslim, they would then be accepted by others. They study then try to become leaders in the Islamic faith to teach how Africans were also Muslims. They give names and places, never really thinking the Islamic faith was really born in Arabia for Arabic-speaking Arabs between the years 610 and 632, the year their founder died, June 8, 632 AD. Many Negroid Muslims convert, many Negroid Muslim converts would try to change the very historical fact of the religion of Islamism and say it is older than the sun, moon, and stars, or it was Abraham's, Moses's, Jesus's religion. This is untrue. It's grafted from them yet a new system to protect the differences they will claim when asked, why do you say this or that, while the Bible says this or that? Their claim is the Bible is changed, tampered with. When the Quran came after the Bible, as the Arabic language came after Hebrew, so they had to give new meanings to Chaldean Hebrew Aramaic, Aramaic tongues to give their own religion support. Islamism of the Quran is very young and a new form of Christian teachings, yet not the same, nor corrections of the former. One of the interesting facts about the religion in Islam and the Qur'an is if, if you read the Qur'an, as the master teacher explained, Qadabab Yanu, that the Qur'an or the religion of Islam is just a new form of Christianity. And if you read the Qur'an, what's interesting is that Jesus is mentioned 25 times in the Qur'an. Prophet Muhammad is only mentioned four times. 
Islam is but the Quran is very young. So ex-slave Negroes would join these religions and set up their own congregations to teach. They teach their own form of each in the hopes of being accepted. Yet they depend on Arabs or Indian translations of the books, Quran, so in fact, they never really understand what they join on to. This is a sad reality. They accept the image, the dress, a few words, only to seek the approval of the very people who enslaved them in Arabia long before the European slave masters. As Matthew explained that the Arabs are really the ones who were responsible for the slave trade. He even explained that the Moors who converted to the religion of Islam actually helped enslave their African brothers. It, it is, what's interesting is that you never really hear of a Islamic movement throughout Africa, but yet you find mosques in all different parts of Africa because that was uh, part of the slave trade. Matthew explained years ago that the language of Swahili was actually a language of the, of the slave trade where they mixed Arabic with Bantu, an African dialect. So the need to be accepted by other races is why many ex-slaves join onto the Arab's religion, Islamism, and then add their own interpretation, symbols, or teach how and when Africans accepted Islamism. Some even call themselves Asiatic Blacks or Moorish take on Turkish, Indian, Persian names or spellings. They only wish to be accepted by anyone to feel they are a part of others. They would even say being African does not mean anything. It's about being Muslim, following the Quran. That is a religion, not a race. Just as many people hear the word Jew, one person says, I'm Jewish, as if that is race, it's not. It's only a religious opinion, not a race. There is no such thing as a Jewish race. It is that empty feeling after 400 years of no one, with no culture, no language, a non-person that makes them accept others' religions as if it is their own. They will say all things and people are Muslims because it means submit or peace. When, in fact, Muslim is Arabic from Hebrew and means safe. Sheen Levin mean not peace or submit. And no human being is born safe or secure. They're born dependent upon others, meaning they don't know the root meanings of the words given to them by those they follow. They don't know the actual facts or the actual time. 30 plus 30 equals 60. Revelations chapter 18, verses 18 through 19. In one hour, so great a nation has come to nothing. Them or their false prophets and teachers, Revelation chapter 8, verse 1, the space of a half an hour, 2000 to 2030 AD, 30 years. Remember this fact, Luahu. They join these foreign religions, given a book, not in the original language. They can't read it if it was a Old Testament but they cannot read Chaldees, Aramaic, Gees, or Hebrew. And remember, not one original Torah or Old Testament exists today. So they don't, they don't have any originals. No, the Dead Sea Scrolls are not the original. They are given the New Testament, Gospels, not in the original tongue. They can't read it if it was, but they cannot read Latin, Greek, and again, remember, not one original New Testament or Gospels exists today. So they don't have any originals. No, the Nag Hammadi, with all the lost Gospels, scrolls, are not the original. And many books, scrolls, were left out of the Bible. And they are given the Quran of Islamism, a book not in the original Quraysh dialect of the Arabic, of the Arabian. They can't read it if it was. They use mistranslations because they can't read Arabic. And remember, not one original chapter of Al-Quran, the Quran, exists today. So they don't have any originals. No, the old copies are not the originals. 
and saying a man or a man remembered it word for word, or a oral remembrance is not the original. This is a point the master teacher explained, it's the Quran authentic. The, the Quran in itself was put together over a 22 year period, from 610 AD to 632 AD. By the Prophet Muhammad, he died July 8, 632 AD, poisoning, by the way. And it was 19 years later, uh, actually me and the brother Dusua was talking to this Muslim brother and explaining to him that the Quran of the day is not verified or confirmed to be the Quran that the Prophet Muhammad received because it wasn't written down at the time of the Prophet Muhammad. And it was 19 years after the Prophet Muhammad died that in Sunni Islam, who was considered the third Khalifa, Uthman, decided to compile the Quran. And once he compiled it, there were other copies that existed. And he ordered that all of those other copies be burned. You follow? So those other copies existed there were other, other different variations of the, of the Quran even 19 years after the Prophet Muhammad died. So there's nothing to verify that the Quran that they have today is the Quran that the Prophet Muhammad received. Yet these converts, Negroids, will argue, fuss, and even fight each other over books they never seen and couldn't read if they did. They get all dressed up like their prophets, own culture, shaved like him and go to the temple, churches, or mosques, as if they're really one of them. It is an illusion. They only wish to be accepted, just as the many Negroids who watch the, just as the many Negroids who watch Bruce Lee cinemas, <laughs> and begin to study martial arts of all kinds, dress like him, eat Asian food. Again, it's I want to be something or accepted by others yet reject their own African cultures. And Nuwaku, the worst of our race of people, are the ones who have accepted others' cultures, religions, ways of life. And because of so much pride, being so big-chested, once they converted to the foreign religion, ran around preaching and teaching, this new accepted foreign religion, such as Islamism, being a Muslim, Muslim, and they read a few books, study a little this or that, of that faith, that belief, and they went to the loved ones, family, friends, to tell them how wrong they live, how they should be what he or she is now. Stop doing this, stop eating that, dress like this, pray this way, and to this new name as God, Allah, follow me as I follow the religion of the Arab, and they boast of having the only truth, the right way. They disrespected others' religions, made fun of others' beliefs. They were all wise, right, and exact, and all others were wrong. This was pride, ego. Then and when the real truth comes, their pride and their ego won't let them admit they are wrong. They were misguided. They hold on to the lies, the misinformation. They never really understand what they claimed was the only truth. They never spoke Arabic or read the Quran in Arabic. The tribe of Quraysh, which it was said to have come to the Arab Ahmed bin Abdullah in 610 to 632 AD in Arabia. And their own version of, the, of that book with their own interpretation of that Arab religion, their own warning. Now that the actual facts have come, they must reject it out of pride. They just can't return to all they insulted and say I was wrong. I'm African. Mixed or not, my root DNA is Africa. I'm not Asiatic, not of Asia in any way. I'm not Arab, not of Arabia in any way. I was wrong, I'm not Indian. I may have been mixed with others, yet my root seed as a race is African, in Africa, before it was divided into separate countries. I have my own opinion of who and what I am. I'm sorry for living a lie, for accepting what was not my own by my African nature. These are the worst of our people. 
who can't admit they were wrong. All the years they pretended to be other than self and kind. I reject after I see because I have been this way for so long following this religion, Islamism, for many years. I reject my awambu, my salawu, my nuwaku, my kabalu. I reject myself, my language, my land, my own ancestors, my own deities, my own dress, my own culture, my own birthright. I reject these because I have much too much pride to admit I was wrong after all these years. These are the worst of our own people. They will hold our whole race down in ignorance rather than accept they were and are wrong. Some make a living out of these false teachings, having become used to leadership and refuse to give up the power out of ego or greed. They have become a part of the 10% of their own false teachings, baby lessons that was given to wake them up. They stand them up out of the bed of confusion. Yet now, Wudawak is here to get them on the move again. All of their teachers spoke of the return of Wudawak, yet they did not understand or wish to accept that what they are was only temporary, momentary, that the only real thing that the only real truth in life is living that is changed. That they needed to be taken by the hand and walk back through all the things forced on our race by others to slowly wash the self of the false teachings forced on our people over the past 6,000 years to remove the veil of ignorance of others' teachings, cultures, and religions from our race. It's a cure a slow process to cure the mental disease. A sickness becomes aligned with the person's body. They feel the effects of the invasion into their body and affects their mind. They feel it, but don't know what it is or what to do. So they go to the man in the white suit called a physician who gives them the drug that does not cure them only suppress their own true physical being. That is what others' religions have done to our people, the Africans. They took us out of our homeland, poisoned us with their cultures and religions, which to us seems as the only relief, relief, which is religion, relief, relief, belief, which relinquished our own reality. We became diseased, sick, ill, with the illusions of trust, the white man, he is your doctor, he has your cure, your relief, in belief, blind faith. Take what the doctor gives you, even if you can't spell its name. How our race is sick with the blind faith in others' religions, looking for a relief in belief. Yet now, Uluwa has been returned with healing on my wings. Don't reject your own cure to the spell. Take this, your own medicine, and be cured of their religious opinions. Don't let your pride keep you sick. Don't let your greed keep you ill. Don't let your ego keep you diseased. Wudawak is the cure. I am your warner with your salvation. constantly trying to block the tongue in Egypt. Leaders have stopped Jews from celebrating Rosh Hashanah in, in Yom Kippur. Holidays have been celebrating the religious rites for 400 years at their temples. The Jews know about the tongues because they have chanters who recite the Torah. A young boy must recite from the Torah as a part of the Bach Mitzvah. Muslims also introduce the tones to the children right after they are born. The fathers recite chapters of the Quran called a prayer in the air. The greatest fear of Kamazwalu, the evil, is that you will get on your correct frequency 
by using your correct tone of language, Uwape. You are transforming into a deity. Mun Ja, a Mun Star deity. You will be one Pa Mun Wapu figures and transform yourselves into a Mun Star. Tune into Uwape.com. You are asking me to pronounce the letters correctly. However, do you, you do not learn a language by reciting the alphabet. You learn it by hearing the words, saying the words. This is the way children learn. A child says dada, not daddy. A child asks for milk, not milk. They learn the language by saying what they hear, not by reading or knowing letters of the alphabet. Then, when they get older, they learn to read and perfect the language. As long as you are into yourself, no Negro is going to get into you. Republicans messed up. All of their speeches have been based on racism and money. There is no hope for America with Obama. Meaning that of the America, how they have it, they have corrupted it. So if Obama's in charge, they have no hope. The, the, the council. As you know, storm season is here. I told you all to prepare, especially in the cheap states like Georgia, where the bootleg power system easily goes out. <laughs> Example, solar generators, dry goods, water, lanterns, protect, protection for yourself, gas masks, Blankets, etc. Warning, all family in Texas better get out of there. Texas is one of the racist hate states and stolen land of the Mexican natives. It is a red target state for Panathar. The Ptolemy dynasty invented the Rosetta Stone. Why did they call it the Rosetta Stone? Why didn't they call it the Egyptian Stone? Then everyone would have to admit who spoke first. They added Greek on the bottom as a translation. However, that is what they say, not what they know. They say it provides the key to understanding hieroglyphics. However, not a translation. The bubonic plague has resurfaced in Oklahoma. Originally, extraterrestrials put the bubonic virus in Europe to wipe them out. And now there are cases surfacing about the mouse born antivirus in Yosemite National Park. The bubonic plague was caused by or spread by rats. The West Nile virus has surfaced in Dallas, Texas, and Georgia, and is spread by the mosquito. The mosquito was what killed the foreign invaders in Egypt. If you, if you anyone familiar with the, the bubonic plague, it was also known as the Black Plague, and it's actually spread through Europe because of their literal filth. The, the expression that you don't have a, um, a, a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of, that actually originated from Europe because they used to literally throw their feces and urine out of the windows. And that's why you have buildings with awnings. Now the, the awnings were actually to protect you from getting splashed with urine and, and feces. So they used to throw this on the street and the, uh, the rats and the mice that infested that area were to feed off this and they spread, bite them, spread the plague. And they called it the Black Plague because after the bodies died, it turned black. But it, it really spread because of their, their filth, the living filth, the filth. One more time. To add on to that, um, it was also mentioned that the Black Plague, the Nathuru did that. It was trying to wipe out the whole race. But we kept getting in the way because we kept mixing our seeds with the Caucasians. And they didn't want to kill their children. You are not born into a religion. You are born an animus. The attribute of conscious life or souls existing in natural objects and natural phenomena. Sound and light alter your DNA. That's why it is so important that you learn to speak your language, your tones to keep you aligned. 
there was a video of an experiment on the internet that was demonstrating how frequencies affect sand and water. You can look it up on YouTube, I've seen it. It's, it's truly amazing how, based on the certain sounds, they put like speakers underneath a, a, a container of sand and water, and they literally made different geometric shapes by the frequencies that was emitted. But this is the point that the master teacher explained, Panabat Yanu. There was a video of an experiment on the internet that was demonstrating how frequencies affect sand and water. Depending on the frequency, the geometric design will change. Now your body is 70 to 75% water. So why wouldn't it affect you? Get on your own tone, Lumapic. Crop circles are formed in the grass because of the frequency from the ships when they land. You can tell where the crabs are from or which beings are associated with a particular crop circle by the insignia or design they make. Panabad Yanu, Pasadak Kuan Karadu, the master Yanu, the truth is with us. Check out class and updates from now on at wunuwap.com. That's wu-nuwap.com. W-U-N-U-W-U-A-P.com. Ustream will no longer be in use. Perfect Kowan Sadak. Badao. That is the opening of the seventh seal, the first resurrection of the mental dead, our race in 1970 AD. Then I gave you from 1970 to 2000 AD, the first half hour or 30 years of school as children. You needed to understand religion, which was fed to you for the last past 400 years in the 1600s of slave trading by Arabs. The Europeans and to spread to all over the Western world. 1600 plus 400 years equals the year 2000 AD, the end of the Canaanites, 6,000 years from 400 BC. Listen well, my beloved, for this is the supreme mathematics, supreme religious. So they were given 6,000 years from 4,000 BC, which ended in 2000 AD. Yet in the 1600s, they took many of you out of Africa to abuse, use, enslave, brainwash for 400 years. So the 24 hour clock starts. The final hour is to come in two parts for us. 30 years, half hour, from, seven, from 1970 to the year 2000. Then the second part 
of the final hour of 30 years, half hour from 2000 to the year 2030 AD, the second half hour, the second resurrection for our people. And it has come to us, it has returned to us, our own salvation, our own opinion, our own language, our own culture, and what is called Wunwa. And it has come to us, it has returned to us, our own salvation, our own opinion, our own language, and what is it called? Wunwa. And what are we called? Wunwa U. And what is the language called? Wunwa B. And what is the place called? Nuabia. It has been returned to us after 6,000 years. We were lost to self and kind, of self and kind. Yet being this time would end in the year 2000 AD. Then from 1600, excuse me, to 2000, it was only 400 years. Yet the wake up call of renewal or opening of the seventh seal came in 1970 AD. And it is exactly 30 years or a half hour or half of the final hour. So 1970 to 2000 equals 30 years, half of their final hour. We are waiting for this to come in the final hour. So 1970 plus 30 brings you to the end of their 6,000 years of religious opinion, belief, faith. And I took you by the hand and walked you through their religious opinions for 400 years. A kind of spell cast down on us 6,000 years ago when the cursed seed made a covenant with their own demon god or gods to offer animal and human flesh and blood for food of their gods. We were raped and their offspring put their evil corrupt seed and many of our own people. Atep Yisar, Anuki, Anuki Mersal, Huni Sinatum Re. Anuki Mersal, Jewel of my eyes, I incarnate to you as your woman, as the reformer in the center of all, and I teach you, I am you. I am the ancient of days, called by many attributes over these final days, called one half hour or thirty years, then after the end of their six thousand year rule of ignorance, you have another one half hour or thirty years. They mix with our own race to spoil our seed. They mix with our own kin to spoil our culture. They mix with our own tribe to call us their niggers, or American niggers, or European niggers, even Caribbean niggers. They mix in with our own race to destroy our divine health and mental, mental and physical. So we took on, we waited and prayed and cried, but no help came because the time was not yet. But in the year 2000 AD, there was the end of their rule with the laws of Lawi Tanani, Yet we still have the disease in their bodies after 400 years of blood mixing and mental indoctrination. Now we accept them, their image, their religion, opinions, their spirit gods, their culture, taking us from the true knowledge of our own race, our own kin, our own tribe, our own people, who was born among African. So 6,000 years from 4,000 BC, bring you down to the year 2000 AD. Yet before 2018, they took from Africa in the 1600s.